Hello, Anita. Hello, Tatiana. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Fine. Thanks, God. <laughs> okay, that's great. Yes. Thanks, God. We are good. We are fine. Okay, it's one o'clock, so it's time to start our class. Welcome, everybody, <laughs> Tatiana and Anita. And let me share the, the class presentation for you to, today. Mm -hmm. We are going to have a topic which is can and can to talk about abilities. Okay, so that's going to be the topic for this class, right? And today, well, what day is today, Anita? Today is Good Wednesday. Afternoon. Good, Good afternoon, afternoon, Byron. Yes, it's Wednesday. Wednesday uh, night. Yes, Wednesday, February 9th. Nice. Wednesday, February 9th, 2022. Mm -hmm. So as I told you, that is the topic for today's class, right? Ken and Kent and the lesson objectives. Tatiana, can you please read the lesson objectives? Can you see the screen? Yeah. Lesson objectives. By the end of this class, you will learn to song natural when using can and can't. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer question using can for ability. Excellent, Tatiana. Good job reading. <laughs> yes, so you're going to learn how to sound natural when pronouncing can and can't. And also how to ask and answer questions. So we have the following activities in the agenda that we call in previous knowledge. Then we have can and can't, questions with can, and finally the wrap up. So let's start with activity one. Do you know what animals can do? Okay, so we are going to see that in the following game. We're gonna have a game in which you have to say what the if the animal can or can't do the the actions or abilities. Okay, so <laughs> it's a, we are, you are going to learn animals vocabulary and also a pronunciation. Okay. It's some bab bamboo. Okay, so I'm gonna be calling out your names and you have to select a number. So let's start with Anita. What number do you want, Anita? I want the number eight. Number eight, okay. Okay, it says zebras and ride bikes. So tell me, zebras can or can't ride bikes? And you have to say the complete sentence. The zebras can't drive bikes. Excellent. Yes, <laughs> they can't. <laughs> Good. Now let's see Tatiana. What number, Tatiana? Three. Number three. Ooh, uh, choose another number. Ten. Number ten. Okay, we have pandas and dance. Pandas can't dance. So 
They can or they can't? Can't. So they don't dance. In your opinion, no. they don't dance. Okay, let's check. Can't. <laughs> oh, very good. Pandas can't dance. Okay. Nice. Noemi, which number do you want, Noemi? Number two. Number two. Horses fly in the sky. Can or can't? Eh, teacher, ¿qué significa fly? Perdón. Fly. Volar en ah, el cielo. Fly. Can't. Okay. Can't. <laughs> Horses can't fly. They cannot fly in the sky. Good. Byron, what number do you want? Number five. Number five. Let's see. Birds sing songs. Birds can or can't sing songs. What do you think? Can't. Affirmative or negative? Can or can't? And negative. Birds can't. 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 Okay. Oh, um, it says birds can sing songs, right? They can sing. Maybe they cannot sing songs that we understand, but they sing. <laughs> okay, thank you, Byron. Okay, Jenny, Jenny Palencia, which number do you want, Jenny? Number four. Number four. Okay, number four is... Giraffes and run. Can or can't? Can't. Affirmative or negative? Affirmative. Okay, so giraffes can run. That's true. Very nice, Jenny. Okay, Anita, it's your turn. Number 14. Number 14. Penguins. Uh, penguin, penguins can swim. Let's check. That's correct. They can swim. Um, Tatiana? 11. 11. <clears throat> Gorillas watch TV. Gorillas can't watch TV. Let's see. <laughs> That's correct. It's because they don't have, right? They don't have a TV. <laughs> okay. Noemi? Number six. Rabbit? Rabbit can jump. That's can. true. Rabbit can jump. Thank you, Noemi. Okay, Byron. Nine. Hippos. Can. Okay. Can what? Uh, 
Hippos play football. Okay, hippos can't play football. Thank you, Aiden. Good job. Uh, Jenny? Thanks, teacher. Seven. Seven. Another number, please. One. Another number, please. <laughs> 12. It's to see if you know the numbers in English. <laughs> Cats read books. Can't. Uh -huh. Can you say the complete sentence, please? Cats. Cat. Can read books. Nice. Yeah, cats can read books. This is not correct because they cannot read books. <laughs> right, so it was a mistake in this game, but it's cats can't. You were right, Jenny. Okay, Anita, we still have three numbers. Mm, number 16. Okay, 16, whales. Ah, uh, whales can sing. Can or can't? I don't know, teacher, because the noise is like a sing, no, right? Uh, let's check. Wow, yes, you're right, Anita. Whales can sing. <laughs> <laughs> they can sing in their language, right? In the whales' language. <laughs> Tatiana, 13 or 15? 15. 15. Oh, look at this one. Bears can't eat pizza. Let's check. That's right. Birds can't eat pizza. It's because they cannot call on the telephone and ask for a pizza, right? <laughs> it's because they don't have money. <laughs> no, I mean, the last one. Let's see. For penguins. Kent, penguins. Can't fly. Can't. Penguins? Can't fly. Can't fly. Can't. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Naomi. Excellent. Okay. Thank you so much, guys, for participating in the activity. And well, as you see, uh, you were practicing can and can't, right? Mm -hmm. So you, what do you see is the difference between can and can't? What's the difference? I think teacher that the can is a short pronunciation, can, and can't is more, Long, large, long. Yeah, it's longer. Yeah. Excellent, Anita. Yes, that is a big difference. You know, can and can't can sound a little bit similar. So you have to make the difference when you speak, right? Can is like short, as Anita said. And can't. And the T at the end. You have to pronounce the T and it's also the A is, or the A is longer. Can't, can't. Okay, can you practice please? Can't, can't, can't. Can't. Yes, can't. Can't. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Well guys, um, good. Remember that it, for Jenny and Byron, I was asked that you have to 
turn on your camera, okay? When you can. Juan Martinez also, whenever you can, please turn on your camera, unless it's, a, you know, it's not possible for a very important reason, but if not, okay, you have to turn on your camera. It's because in Safor audits the, the classes. Thank you so much, Byron. Thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you, Byron. I think it's the first time we see you. I think I never see you. Hello, it's nice, nice to meet you, you Tishar. <laughs> okay, very good. Let's continue with the next part of the class. And I really appreciate your participation, okay? So we have a conversation practice, okay? This conversation is uh, between Kayla and Philip. <clears throat> so let's listen, please. It says, Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can see really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. So now guys, you will be assigned in a small groups or in pairs. You are going to practice this conversation and also you, when you finish your conversation, talk to your partner about what you can do. You are gonna ask, what can you do? For example, if you ask me, teacher, what can you do? Well, I can tell you that I can sing in the shower. I can cook very well. I can make pizza. I can make tacos. I can make tamales and pupusas. So yes, I can cook. Um, what else? I can speak English. Mm, I can teach English. Because one thing is speaking and another thing is teaching. <laughs> and well, those are some of my abilities. Um, I can also, um, I can plant flowers. <laughs> I'm learning to, to plant a garden. So that's what you're going to do, okay? To talk about your abilities and practice also the conversation that is between Kayla and Philip, okay? So um, I will send this to the group, and, but first I'm going to assign you in the small groups, okay? Go ahead. See you in, see you in a moment. Yes, I am trying to send it right now, okay? <laughs> Just give me some seconds. Okay. It's gonna be... We are going to start with the question. Okay, great. Okay. Uh, Noemi, what can you do? Como? What can you do? I can draw. You can draw. Dibujar. You can draw. 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 
I can cook. Hmm. What kind of things you can do? Can you dance? Uh, no, I can't dance. You can. <laughs> Okay, maybe you can ask Anita. <laughs> Anita. Ahí mandó la tita. Pero no la tengo yo. Hay otro grupo, ¿ok? <laughs> no, 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 no. En el grupo que estamos todos, ahí la ha mandado ella. Ah, no me ha caído. Or maybe you can start with the question, what can you do? Compañero? Hola. Contestemos la, 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 la pregunta, dice la teacher. Bye. What can you do? I can uh, play piano. Oh, or I I can't. Oh, play football. My my son can can play sing. Can sing. Can sing. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm just a question, Mr. Martinez. Is your number 7457? 74579770? Yes. Okay. Thank you. You can continue. Uh, what can you do? I can cook, but I can't make uh, make cakes. Um, I can dance, dance, and I can play soccer. I can't. I can't. Um, Volleyball. I can't play volleyball. I can't, I can't play. play volleyball. Mr. Martinez, I already sent uh, you the the conversation directly to your WhatsApp. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. now you can practice. Thank you. Empiezo, compañero. In problems with each other, right? Yes, teacher. She has a problem with connection. With the connection, yes. Okay. Did you practice the question or the conversation with her or nothing? I'm not finished. You're not finished. And do you have the conversation? Would you like to practice the conversation with me? Okay. Okay, Vida. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? 
You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Let's practice tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Byron. Now, can you tell me what you can do? What can you do, Byron? What abilities do you have? Byron, can you drive? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, I can. Yes, I am. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay, Byron, can you ride a bicycle? No, I can't. Really? You can't? Wow. <laughs> Um, Biden, can you, can you cook? Yes, I can. <laughs> nice. What else can you do? I can do exercise and I can do make my homework. You can do your homework. You can do yes. your homework. Okay. Um, hmm, nice. Can you speak English, Byron? Yes, I can. Excellent. Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so we're going to finish yes. here and we're going to go back. Thanks. Okay. Oh, Jenny. I always have this problem with the background. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So what can Anita do, Noemi? What did Anita tell you? What, what can she do? What can Anita do, Noemi? Okay, teacher. Um, she, she can cook. She can Very cook. well. Oh, nice. She can dance. Um, she can uh, sing, but in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> Me dijo Anita, yo la noté. <laughs> uh, she can teach. What can you teach, Anita? English teacher. Nice. Yes, you can teach English because you're learning and you can teach. Okay. Yes. Nice. Um, well, I guess you can sing very well because you have a very nice voice. But only for me, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> and for your husband. Oh, for my husband. Oh, for my cat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Mr. Martinez, can you tell me what Tatiana can do? What can Tatiana do, Mr. Martinez? Okay, uh, Tatiana, I uh, Tatiana can cook, but she can't bake. Tatiana can dance, but can't soccer. Okay, she, can. she can't play soccer. She can't play soccer. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, uh, that volleyball. Only. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Martinez. 
Good. And Tatiana, what can you tell me about Juan? Juan can uh, play station and he he can he can play no he can play piano no he can no, no, play no, the no. piano uh -huh. he can play the piano can he sing ba huh? can Juan sing no Juan Juan he can't sing. Juan can't sing, okay. But he can play the piano. Yes. Okay, nice. Thank you so much. Well, I found that Byron can drive. Can drive a car. But he can't ride a bicycle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's interesting. I can ride a bicycle. I love riding bicycle. I, I love cycling. Yes. Good. Okay. Um, now, let's learn about a use or the structure of can and can't. Oh, it's very simple. The use of can and can't is very, very simple. <clears throat> it's a piece of cake. As you notice, in the presentation, when we use can for the ability, we have the structure is the following. As always, the subject. Then can or can't. The verb in the base form. And the complement. He can sing very well. She can't sing at all. Él puede cantar muy bien. Ella no puede cantar para nada. At all means para nada. She can't sing at all. Okay, so that's it. Affirmative can, negative can't. And the verb always, always, base form. It doesn't change for third person. It doesn't change. No cambia en tercera persona, ¿verdad? With can and can't. The verb doesn't change, it's the same verb. Sing, cook, dance, drive, swim, uh, talk, speak, whatever. Now, in questions, we only change the position. Or we just uh, flip the tortilla, right? Solo le damos vuelta a la tortilla. Can you sing? Can I sing? Can he sing? So, el can goes first, then the subject, and then the verb. Can we sing? Can we speak Spanish? Yes, we can. And remember, the just no questions. Answers are yes, the subject and can, or no, the subject and can't. For WH questions, it's the same, but we just put the question word first. Question word at the beginning, what can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Philip can. Where can you sing? I can sing in the bathroom. Um, when can you sing? I can sing every morning, etc. I have another slide with more examples. The same, right? We have different examples i can jump you can play he can run she can't dance it can't soar they can't study and we can't sing right and we have the all more examples okay. um can you read please tatiana letter a i can't swim thank you byron letter b He can't play the drums. Exactly, he can't play the drums. Thank you, let us see. Mr. Martinez? 
They can play soccer. They can play soccer. And the last one, Jenny. I think she has problems. She can jump. Okay, you error meaning in the fee antes. She can jump. She can jump. Uy. It was not there, it was here. Okay, she can jump. Okay, good. So those are the examples. And now questions. What are the questions? Can she ski? Puede ella esquiar? Yes, she can or no, she can't. Can they speak English? Yes, they can. No, they can't. Can you ride a horse? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Can, can uh, Paul swim? Yes, he can. No, he can't. So right now, you are going to write sentences about your abilities or your family or friends' abilities. And also the things they cannot do. I want to write one example in the chat. For example, I can say, I can drive a, I can drive a car, but I can't uh, ride a motorcycle. Okay, try to use but. My husband can play soccer, but he can't, but he can't play basketball. My mom can cook very well, but she can't bake cakes. Mm -hmm. My brother can uh, go cycling, but he can't swim. Okay, so those are examples. Another example, I can run very fast, but I can't jump the rope. No puedo saltar cuerda. So please write, <laughs> write a sentences, a sentences, okay? Oh, it can't. I can run very fast, but I can't jump the rope.
Oh, no, my sister can play basketball, but she can't play volleyball. Noemi says, I can make bread. Oh, really, Noemi? That's interesting. Is it pan francés or sweet bread, like pastries? Pan francés, um, tres leches, eh, budín, quesadillas. Wow, that's nice. You have to give me the recipe to make tres leches, okay? ¿Cómo? The recipe to make tres leches. You have to tell me the recipe to make tres leches. La receta, the recipe to make tres leches. Ah, la receta. Yes, to make tres leches. Yes, the recipe. You have to give me the recipe. I need the recipe. Okay, teacher. <laughs> Send me the, rep the recipe on WhatsApp. Juan says, I can drive motorcycle and car, but I can't drive a trailer, a truck. Okay, a trailer. Nice. My, my, my father can drive a truck. I can swim, but I can't climb. Okay, Byron. Anita, I can ride a bicycle, but I can't fix a bicycle. <laughs> Good. My father can cook, but he can't dance. Okay, that's interesting. My father can cook, but he can dance. My mother can drive, but she can cook. <laughs> My mother can see the pool, but she can swim. My uncle can play the guitar, but he can't play the piano. Interesting. My aunt can dance, but she can't sing. My son can play the guitar. Okay. Interesting, Noemi. My cat can sleep all the day, but he can sleep at night. <laughs> My sister can cook lasagna. Okay. My son can sing very well, but he can't dance. <laughs> okay, interesting. Elena can cook pizza, but she can't cook chicken. <laughs> My cousin can cook a cake, but she can't cook meat.
I can make pizza. My dog can run, but it can't jump high. Okay, Tatian, it can't. My brother can play soccer, but he can't be in a team, in a soccer team, okay? I can cook chicken, but I can't cook rice. I can cook rice with milk. Okay, arroz. Arroz en leche, rice with milk. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, you can continue like practicing your sentences, right? You can finish them later. Good. Now, I want you to write some questions. Okay, some questions for your classmates. One question for Noemi, one question for Juan, one question for Tatiana, one question for Anita, one question for Jenny, for Byron, for the teacher. Okay, so seven questions, uh, six questions, right? Teacher, can you speak French? Noemi, can you make pizza? Juan, can you play the guitar? Tatiana, can you run fast? Anita, can you speak Italian? Um, Byron, um, can you play soccer? Jenny, can you, um, can you cook? <laughs> or can you drive a car? Okay. So let's create your questions for your classmates, please. Just write the questions. Later, we are going to, well, tomorrow we are going to ask and answer the questions, right? But in this moment, work on the questions, please. And I will send a link of exercises. This is going to be the last activity.
Okay, in the exercise online that I sent, you have to look at the pictures. There are two kids, two guys, kids, uh, which is Jack and Sally. So the check means that they can do it, but the cross means that he or she can't do it, right? For example, Jack can ride a bike, true or false? True. That is true. Sally can't escape. Can't escape. It's false because she can. False. Jack can't play basketball, true or false? False. Yes, it's false because he can. Jack can't play football. True. 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 Sally can swim. True. True. Sally True. can True. skateboard. True. True. Yes. Sally can ride a horse. False. 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 Jack can play tennis. False. Yes, false. It's false. False. Very nice. Very nice. You finished? You check your answers? Yes. Very nice. Okay. I will send you another. That is, okay. You have to do this one, but all, there is another one. That was for the wrap up. It's a very similar exercise, but in this one, you have to, to type can or can't. Very good one, excellent, you got 10. In this exercise, you will learn more um, action words. There are more action words in this exercise. Mm -hmm. If you don't finish in the five minutes, well, you can do it as homework. A ver, ya todos tienen su certificado. Do you all have your certificate? Mm. Okay, remember that. You have to complete all the exercises on the platform and also do the, take the final exam. You have to take the final exam. Okay, so we have Ziri, who's new, and Ibrahim. And different activities, for example, uh, do puzzles, climb a tree, ride a bicycle, dive, que es bucear, drive a car. So for example, Zirin can ride a bike, but, but she can't dive. Who's new? Can't do possible, can't. But, can't. but he can can't climb a tree. Ibrahim can, can climb can. a tree, but 
Can't. Can't. Yeah. Can't drive a car. Who's no? Can't. Ride a bike. But he can. Sitting. Can't. Do possums bat? She can. Drive a car. And you have to continue, right? You have to continue with the other exercise. And you can find more in, in this website. I like this website because there are a lot of activities that you can do. Mm -hmm. For you to practice. Now, guys, I want you to tell me what you learned today in this class. Everybody's gonna tell me something. Let's start with Noemi. What did you learn in this class, Noemi? Noemi. Hello, teacher. The question is, what okay? Did you learn, aprendiste, in this class? Mm. I learned, yo aprendí. I learned. El uso de can. The de use can. of the can use can't. The can y can't. Okay, thank you, Naomi. Now, Jenny. What did you learn in this class, Jenny? Oh, maybe she doesn't hear me. <laughs> uh, Tatiana, what did you learn in this class, Tatiana? I <laughs> I learned uh, to pronunciation the can and can't. Ah, very nice. Can and can't. So you learn the pronunciation. You say, I learned the pronunciation. The pronunciation, or I learned to pronounce. Very nice. Mr. Martinez, what did you learn in this class? Uh, el uso de, no sé cómo decirlo. Well, the use of can and can't. To talk about abilities and talents. Mm -hmm. Anita? Bueno, con el can, can en, pos, en positivo y en negativo. En questions, too. Thank you, Mr. Martinez. Anita? Well, I learned um, some extra about the can and can't that I didn't have till. But in this case, I. <laughs> I learned. Now it's clear. <laughs> okay, Byron. I learned use of can or can't in affirmative or negative okay very nice and i learned all your abilities and talents you have like i didn't know noemi can bake bread and she can make different pastries or desserts uh -huh. anita can teach english tatiana can cook juan can play the piano byron can play soccer 
So, you can do pupusas. I can make pupusas and tamales. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, it was, an, it was a nice class. Thank you for coming. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Have a nice afternoon.